Hello everyone, my name is Shy, and today I am bringing you the last part of Unintentionally Funniest English Lyrics by K-pop stars. This is 30 of them. I'm excited. Honestly, the last, no, part three, the last lyric in that one, the ad lib actually, oh my god, I wanted to cry. The one who commented um, to, for me to check this out said that her, her favorite, or her, the best parts are three and four, so I'm pretty excited for number four. So without further ado, this is 30 Unintentionally Funniest Inclures by K-pop Stars. This is part four, also the final ones. I'm excited, let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm here to party. Oh my god, my beast. Yeah, I'm scared of you. A Tom Bob is coming. <laughs> oh, Adam Bob. A Tom. Whoops. <laughs> and it's funny because you kiss, when that song came out, I had like. Super K has their leader is an English speaker too, so I'm just like, how? Why? <gasps> I have this up, I heard this and I was just like, oh my god, dude, this made me cry. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, cactus, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cause Mark. <laughs> yep, yep. I was like, what? Oh, the legend! <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, yep. Oh, Jay Park. <laughs> and he speaks English too. Oh my god, bye. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay, we're in. Yep. Mm hmm. We're. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? Oh my gosh. Oh, this one, yep. Yep. Shit. 
Shima, of course. Yep, yep, yep. I remember this. I, was, I didn't even question it when that happened. I didn't even question it when that when he said that line. But what I was saying with um um you kiss the time that song it came out, they had two English speaking members. <sighs> Two for K too. Two for K. If you're not familiar with them, I've been with them since like 2015. But Two for K has their leader speaks English. Who said that line? Hold on. You kissed. You're my sh but you're my sugar mama. Is that Corey? Because if that's Corey, my dude. My dude, because this was You're So Cute. This was their debut, wasn't it? They also had this, they had a different lineup at this point. But I just have like a lot of these are obviously from like very, very old days, but like there's some a few like newer days or like new era kind of songs. But like I expect, I definitely did expect like a lot of the old songs because a lot of them were questionable. Because like, like I said in the previous parts of this series. Like, because K-pop wasn't as global as it is now, it's just like, they're, I guess they weren't, you can say that they maybe weren't as careful with the lyrics, although I'm questioning the groups with English speaking members because like, how do you mess that up? <laughs> or how do you <coughs> put questionable things in your things, right? Um, but yeah, it was just... This series is honestly the best thing. I am so glad to the one who commented like, hey, you should check this out. I am thankful for you because this was the best series of my life and I want to cry. Three and four were definitely the best part, but three was definitely my favorite because of the because of the Sekis line. That, ugh. But definitely, they definitely did get a bit better again, like I said, in terms of lyrics because K-pop is starting to become very, very global. So yeah. Robbie's one with Nirvana. This was very recent, so yeah, this oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, so this was this was made recently. This was made 17 days ago as of this recording. This was made on February 3rd. Um So yeah, Nirvana the Nirvana one, I remember listening to that. I even reacted to that actually. How did I not catch that? Then again, with Ravi, whenever Ravi says something in English, 90% of the time, you're not sure what you're hearing. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I'm really too much. This honestly was like the best series ever. I know there's probably way more English lines that are like very questionable. Like a lot of it is just like, why did they say that? What is this grammar? And like just things that you just want to cry looking at them. The most memorable again was the Seki's line, the ad lib that he did. Oh lord, on fire! Please help me. Um, but yeah, this was honestly the best thing ever. I know there's definitely a lot more um, iconic ones, but the ones in this series, like some of them I've heard of, some of them I haven't. Um, but they're still just. Uh, I just want to cry every time I listen to them now. So anyway, this was an amazing series, honestly. Again, thank you to the one who recommended I check it out because this was honestly the best thing ever. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you have videos like these that you want me to check out, um, let me know. I mean, I have maybe seen a lot of them, but I don't know yet. I have actually have never seen these series, so I'm really thankful again to the one who told asked me to check it out. So anyway, again. If you have videos like these that you want me to check out and react to, let me know. Um, until then, hope you guys enjoyed again for this reaction. If you did, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.